If you're suspicious about the purity of your water, then you need this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have seen these around for a while, but I've never picked one up. It's a water bottle. Oh, I have water bottles, but this one is a little different. It's kind of a purifying water bottle. They call it a self-cleaning. Kind of make sure that maybe the bad things like bacteria or germs are dead. It's really a UV purifying water bottle as far as I can tell. Now, there are a bunch of different brands in this. I picked this one up by Bean because it was one of the largest. So I noticed that these water bottles are available in a lot of sizes and often in the high teens size in terms of ounces. So I wanted something that was gonna be a little bigger because I'm gonna go off of the beaten path right now. Kind of reminds me of like a nice liquor bottle. It's got a cool presentation to it. And they are gonna have water pumps. Almost everything is going to be well water. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll just be a little bit safer and, and have a little bit more peace of mind that when I fill this up, I can activate the UV purifier sterilizer and kill anything in there and just make sure that I'm not puking from both ends, if you know what I mean. So one of the interesting things about this is that this beam water bottle, I believe is 20 ounces. So it was one of the biggest ones I can find. Looks like it is a, stainless steel vacuum sealed water bottle with a little bit of kind of vinyl design on this it's definitely like a granite look to it now they had a few other designs i would say that this is kind of the most manly of the designs they had like a blue one too that was kind of interesting it has this like silicone pad on the bottom so it shouldn't move around when it's just sitting there but it's a pretty traditional water bottle design it says beam right there now what makes this interesting self-cleaning purifying is the top and so i'm just going to go ahead and unscrew this and what you might be able to see right there is that we have a little uv emitter right in there kind of looks like a cree led element now the top here looks pretty standard it's got the threading in there a little silicone lip right there so that it should seal right inside we've got a little neck right there so it should seal inside there you can see everything about that looks like just a standard water bottle and a big plastic cap up here which has the battery to power that and this one is kind of unique in that what you will do is you will fill this up with water and then if this is powered up you push down this button but what will happen is that this little light will come on and hopefully sterilize your water now i want to show you here this little rose gold pink ring i think will flip up so you have a little handle to carry it i will say this is just plastic so it's not giving me the most confidence in a really harsh environment you're walking around you know flopping this around especially with the weight of water on there but it's kind of nice you can probably just clip it onto something carry it a little easier but what makes this one a little bit different as well is not just the size but the way this charges so if i open that up got a little silicone cover here and then what we have is a usb c port right there what i noticed is that a lot of these have their own proprietary charger a magnetic charger usually that goes on there and i thought if you're going to be out in the wilderness drinking rainwater, stream water, well water, those types of things. Why do you want to have an extra proprietary cord just for your water bottle? So I really like that. And in fact, in the box here, it comes with a little USB-C plug there. So you can plug this into any charging brick and then charge this bad boy up. So one of the things I want to do now is just charge this up and then we'll take a look at the function of that UV emitter. All right, so I charged this up and you just close it up like this. Now, I thought it would be fun to show you the little emitter working, but I wanna show you now, if I just press this once, one of three modes that this comes with, just pr press it once, you can see it flashes red because it's saying, I'm not on the bottle, which is right here. And that's actually pretty clever. So the way I think it works is, I saw that there's this little pin right down there. And I think if that's not depressed, it's saying, hey, I'm not installed on the bottle, so I'm not gonna work because having a little UV emitter right there could be bad, especially, you know, you don't wanna look at UV light. In fact, when you use like a small UV flashlight for things like checking on leaks and cars and stuff like that, you actually wear these protective goggles. So the fact that it won't let you activate this when it is off the bottle is kind of clever. Now, I will say there are three modes to this little bad boy. So if I do screw it in here, the three modes are normal, blitz, and self-cleaning. So I will show you that, and it's pretty easy to use. You just press this once to do the normal mode. And what this will do, indicated by this blue light here, this blue ring, is it will emit UV light for 90 seconds. And so that should hopefully kill most of the germs, 99.99% .99 of those germs and bacteria in there. Now it's not going to sterilize particulate. You know, if you've got mud or rust or something like that in there, it's not gonna do anything about that. Now to interrupt the cleaning, you just hit the button again and I think it will stop. If I hit it twice, it's gonna go into blitz mode, which is 
indicated by this purple ring now, which is kind of cool. Interrupt it with a double click or remove the cap. Once that plunger gets released, I think it'll stop. And then the last one is self-cleaning. One, two, three. And this now will run every four hours for 24 hours. So it will do six cycles of this. And that's the self-cleaning mode in that it will kind of take care of itself all day. So if I just hit it there, I'm gonna turn it off. So the cool thing about this is that if you are going somewhere where you're a little suspect of the water, this little water bottle will allow you to carry as much water as I've seen in these types of things, but allow you to sterilize that water with this little UV emitting cap, but also allow you to recharge this off a of USB-C as opposed to a proprietary cable. So I kind of dig it and it was one of the more affordable bottles. So if having a little peace of mind about the water that you're drinking will help you live a little better on your next outdoor adventure, I'll put a link to this water bottle in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever thanks to Peter. Peter Von Panda. If you're suspicious about the purity of the... Ugh.